marks one week since six people were hurt during a shooting at Crown Center. So far, no arrests have been made. KCPD confirming with KSHB 41's Alyssa Jackson, several persons of interest have been identified. She went back to Crown Center this afternoon to check in with business owners that are still feeling the impact of what happened. This is what people think of when talking about Crown Center. This has been an establishment that has been open for over 42 years. Outside of shopping and eating, it's a family friendly spot that's a part of Kansas City's history. Exactly a week ago, a mass shooting here at Crown Center not only shocked people who grew up in Kansas City or frequented Crown Center, but also employees who work inside. We spent a couple of hours here today and what we noticed was a security presence that people say is the norm, but what business owners are having to adjust to, they say is slower business than usual. Andrea Penaloza said they closed minutes before it happened, but the store was in the line of fire. I don't know if anyone else uh, had as much damage as we did. Some of Empanada Madness is still boarded up, but it's not the look that's impacting them as much as a 50% drop in sales. I'm doing Amazon Flex right now to adjust because I just we just don't have any sales at the moment. An employee at a different store who did not want to be identified confirmed this is a slow time of year, but it's not usually this slow. Yeah, we took a, a massive, probably about a 30 percent sales increase compared to what we usually do. While some of them hope for a normal week of business to come sooner than later, they're also taking this as a learning experience. We're going to hopefully train at all of our stores just in case something like this did happen at a different restaurant so that way they know what to do. And they're hoping in this season, there's something people can do for them. Help support our small businesses because um, our families need you guys. <laughs> in Kansas City, Alyssa Jackson, KSHB 41 News.